I have researched scams within crypto for hours. I can't even put a number on it, even though I've tried to in the title of this video. This is the only video you need to protect yourself from all of those scams because you're going to be the most aware and you're not going to succumb to any of these scams that happen, even the ones you have no control over. Let's get into it. So all the types of scams that we see in crypto range from the following. We've got phishing scams. We've got fake ICOs, which is our initial coin offerings. We've also got Ponzi schemes and rug pulls that we have seen far too often. We've then got social engineering and impersonation scams. And then we've also got tech related scams that you can do absolutely nothing about until recently. Now, a while back, I made a whole video on an impersonation scam. I was trying to see if I could get scammed by people impersonating me. <laughs> people trying to be me, trying to scam me. I answered it and he hung straight up. <laughs> it was very funny. If you want to go and check out that video, you absolutely can. And there were some key takeaways from that, which were essentially, you know, there's a series of rules. If things sound a bit too good to be true, they definitely are. If it doesn't sound like the person that you think it is, then it's not, you know, all of these things. And I've had one-on-one -on -one calls with people where they've actually been scammed by impersonators of well-known influencers in this space. So I know it happens. I know it's very convincing, but with the rules I'm about to give you in this video, hopefully you can protect yourself from it, that ever happening to you. So within this influencer impersonation realm, you're going to find a whole series of different types of scam. The main one is that they're going to have fake versions of the social media outlets. So for me, for example, on my Twitter, my username is Crypto Lulu. But what they'll do is they'll put it in there and say Crypto Lulu, but the O on the crypto is a zero. So on appearances, it looks like me. And if you get a DM from me saying, you know, are you interested in trading? <laughs> Which is something I would never, never say, right? I'm an investor from long term. I'm not a trader. So it doesn't sound like me, but people will see that and think that it that it is me and have an automatic trust there over the time that I've been creating content. It's natural for trust to be built. They take advantage of that trust and scam you. Then you've also got kind of phishing tactics within this impersonation thing where they will create elaborate websites that are basically just fake websites to get you to send your crypto to. And they look like they're credible crypto services, but of course they're not. Then you'll also have like community chat scams. You might see these in Discord or Telegram where someone will message you and pretend to be the influencer. Now, I know I'm listing out here, but I'm going to give you some key tips to basically avoid all of this happening from the hours of research I've done. You know, these tips are all you're going to need. There's another one like the customer support fraud where, you know, you get, might get your cold storage wallet company Ledger might fake reach out, you know, a fake one, a fake support ticket gets opened and says, we saw that there was a attack on your cold storage wallet. Do you want to rectify it? And you go, oh no, my cold storage wallet's been attacked. I need to fix it. Then you go through that whole customer support kind of process. And in the end, they just take your crypto because it's not really ledger. It's not really decent. So two things that come to mind here, I'm just going to drip feed these different tips to you throughout the video. But if you can stay alert to poor grammar, or if you see an offer is like really too good to be true, or you're getting kind of requests to give personal information just out of the blue, or even if there's like a time crunch or high pressure kind of tactics that they're using, please, although it might be tempting, do not entertain those conversations. So you have to be looking out for those things. And you must always verify who is talking to you through the official channels. The official channels will always be listed on their social media channels. Their social media channels will always be verified, right? So if they're verified, you can use the official links there. You can also go to the community at large to ask what are the official links to X person or X company, and that should keep you out of trouble. Now, there is another type of scam that I've come across very recently and actually kind of terrifies me, and it's called SIM swapping. So this happened very recently to none other than Vitalik Buterin, the creator of Ethereum. So if it can happen to him, it can happen to literally everyone. This is one of those scams where I really, really think this can just happen to absolutely anybody. And how it works is the uh, scammers, all they need to get hold of is your phone number. How many places have you put your phone number? It's crazy. 
They can take your phone number, essentially create a version. Let's say you're with T-Mobile, your, your cell provider is with T-Mobile. They can create a fake version of T-Mobile, plug your number into it, and it basically gets access to the T-Mobile database, giving them access to all of your data and even your financial data. So this can happen and it can happen to absolutely anybody until recently. And that's where I've come across this company called Ifani. So as you know, I'm always looking for ways to enhance my investments, but I'm also looking for ways to secure my investments. And this whole SIM swapping thing has left me a little bit uneasy. That's why I want to talk to you about Ifani today. I was making this video about scams and all the things you need to avoid from these hours of research about scams and crypto. And on the same day when I had finished the planning for this video, an email came through from Ifani who do none other than encrypted SIM cards. So they are a service provider just like T-Mobile and Vodafone, but Ifani have been able to step up to stop your SIM card from being hijacked. They have a SIM card with military grade encryption, and it's designed to keep you perfectly safe from SIM swap threats. Now they've recently started being featured in crypto influencer videos because they've realized how important this is for the crypto space, although it has benefits in, uh, in other areas, but the crypto space specifically is in such a vulnerable position and therefore their product is the perfect use case for crypto holders. And they've also given me a deal which is exclusively for this community. If you use the link in the description, ifani.com forward slash Lewis Jackson, that's E-F-A-N-I.com forward slash Lewis Jackson, they're going to give you a $99 discount for the rest of 2023. You can also use the code Lewis at checkout, but that's already applied when you click the link in the description. And not only do you get this military grade security for your data and your as your service provider and your SIM card, you'll also automatically be entered into a, a giveaway, woohoo, <laughs> a giveaway that gives the winner a free line in your plan. So you can add any family member in underneath you. And that line itself is worth $1,200. So if you want to qualify for that giveaway and you want to encrypt your SIM cards and your data and your phone, all you have to do is register with Ifani and subscribe to this channel. Two easy things and you'll be completely protected from SIM swaps with Ifani. That's ifani.com forward slash Lewis Jackson. So let's get into the bulk of the tips I'm about to give in this video. So the first thing is we're gonna, we're gonna put up some red flags and warning signs here. And I want you to always follow from the hours of research that I've done here, I want you to follow these three tips day in and day out. Always be looking for the promise of high returns. If the promise of high returns is there, it's likely a scam, ignore it. If you ever have pressure to invest quickly, again, this is a scam, ignore it. And if the team behind the scam is completely anonymous, you guessed it, ignore it. Those are the red flags and warning signs, but let's now talk about how to protect the assets that you love so much. The first thing you're gonna want to do is always be protecting your assets your digital assets, your cryptocurrency in cold storage wallets. My favorite cold storage wallet is the Ledger Nano X. Everyone has different preferences on this, but Ledger Nano X has done nothing wrong to me. I've always enjoyed using it. It's been super simple. Always make sure you are enabling two-factor authentication on any login details that you give, and always try to avoid giving your phone number as one of those components of two-factor authentication. What I use is Google Authenticator. It's just an app that you get on your phone and it generates a new code. So the code is always changing. It can't be predicted. And then additionally, I'll also use an email. Those are my two ways of getting my two-factor authentication. I never use my phone number. Now, there are things that you can do in your due diligence and research to understand whether this project or this whatever it is, is legit or not. And I'm going to give you two different tips for that. The first one is to examine the white paper. If the white paper has spelling mistakes or the, the team isn't displayed on the white paper, if, if you just get a weird feeling about it, if it feels too surface level and not deep enough about the tokenomics and the granular behavior of, of that project, it's probably not real. Sometimes these scam companies or scam projects, these pump and dumps will just create a white paper for the sake of having a white paper. They'll make it sound all fancy, but never get into any of the details that's a pretty good sign that this is not a legit project. And then as I alluded to in the white paper, if the team isn't mentioned on the white paper or they're anonymous, 
try and find that team elsewhere. If you cannot find the team, if they are not public facing, or showing their faces, showing their history of what they worked on, they haven't linked their LinkedIn profile, these are not real people, and you're just basically getting yourself ready to be scammed. Now, when you're actually doing trades, when you're actually transacting with cryptocurrency, there are two tips that I want you to have. The first one is to always double check the wallet addresses that you're using and the memo codes that you're using for any given transaction. It'll be really useful if you use exchanges or you use a cold storage wallet to actually whitelist specific wallet addresses and only use your whitelisted crypto addresses to send crypto to and receive from. Typically, there will always be a copy button on the long wallet address, so you can copy that wallet address perfectly, paste it into the exchange where you're sending the crypto from, then double check to make sure all of the digits line up, and then send the crypto. But the other tip about transacting in crypto and doing trades is really try to avoid doing any of these trades in a public Wi-Fi. Always try to come back home to do those things or have a secure Wi-Fi connection that you needed a password for, for example when you're doing these trades. The interception points come about in these public Wi-Fi areas. And if you're transacting and putting wallet codes out there and transacting crypto and sending crypto in a public space, you never know who's sat behind you watching what you're doing. And I don't mean they actually physically be sat behind you. They could be sat anywhere in the area, just kind of wirelessly taking your information on that public Wi-Fi channel. Now, if you need to take legal recourse, you need to take legal action against a, a scam that has happened to you, unfortunately, there's very little that can be done. But if you want to make an effort to do something, at least there are entities that you can talk to and report this behavior to. Now, the FBI have a department for this. You can list all of that information with them. The website for that is ic3.gov. That's letters I, C, the number three, dot gov. Now, of course, that is very USA centric and very focused at people in America. But globally, there are always these divisions. There are always cybercrime units in your country that you can report this information to. I don't think much is going to be done because it's very difficult, but it may be on the off chance that other people have also reported this exact same person and they then allocate resources to help you and the other people who are scammed out. Even if you don't have the transaction details, just report whatever you have, any information that you have the chat history where you were kind of lured in, every piece of information that you give to the authorities can be useful. Now, if you report these things, there will also be recovery scams where people pretend to be the government and say, we're gonna help you recover your crypto, just enter in your bank details here. Again, this is a scam and only work with trusted law enforcement agencies. It's, it's so difficult. I, I, I really do feel for people who are entering this space for the first time and getting scammed or at least being lured in to be scammed that there are scams absolutely everywhere even if you think you're working with the police there are scams associated with that <laughs> like they are absolutely everywhere but if you follow these tips and the few tips i'm about to give you right here i really think you can avoid 99 percent of the scams around so one of those things is just staying updated so make sure you're following reputable news outlets for about crypto and influencers that you can trust and remain in their official channels. Don't venture outside of their channels, but oftentimes these influencers will also talk about the latest scam that has happened. I mean, a while ago, Ledger came out with this whole kind of backdoor thing. You don't need to really know much about that, but it was quite scary for everyone. And there were updates happening in Ledger Live and some of the updates were fake and there was misinformation about all of that stuff. Try to stay up to date with official statements from Ledger, from the influencers that you trust. But like I said, if you see something with the promise of high returns and you and you reject it, you have erased so many scams away from your purview. If you never invest in a project where you can't see the team, you've again rescued yourself from scams. The tips I've given in this video will, will stop you being scammed 99% of the time. Now they can be very convincing and they can use psychological tactics to make you feel like you're reliant on them or make you feel a sense of fear of missing out, FOMO. But I think with the tips I've given you in this video, I think you're, you can steer clear of the vast majority of scams that are out there. And I think this video has been the ultimate crypto scam avoidance video on YouTube. If you think that is the case as well, I would really appreciate it if you shared this video with any of your friends or family who are new to crypto, who just want things explained nice and simply. 
So make sure at the very least with the ones that you cannot control like SIM swaps that you're exploring companies like Ifani to protect and encrypt your SIM cards so that you never get SIM swapped ever. If it can happen to Vitalik Buterin, the creator of Ethereum, it can happen to you unless you have Ifani. <laughs> Now remember, you can register with efani.com forward slash Lewis Jackson. You can get $99 off for the rest of 2023. And you can also enter into that giveaway worth $1,200. The link to that is in the description. All the codes and everything get auto applied when you click that link. Stay emotionless. I'll see you in the next one.